you know, every once in a while you, uh, you meet people that you don't know, but you feel like you've known them your whole life. And uh, when I got to meet uh, Brother Tim and Carol, I felt like I found uh, lost family members uh, in the kingdom of God and to feel that spirit. And uh, God is raising up people that are reviving the old paths. And America has lost its way, but more than that, the church lost its way. And God has begun to raise up certain men in certain places to begin to release the word of the Lord and to preserve some of the things that God has done. And, and uh, <clears throat> my desire is always to come and preach. But for some reason, when I go out, God won't let me preach. I always wind up speaking prophetically. And so uh, I never got a message to preach tonight. So I guess God wants to speak prophetically to this house. <clears throat> And so I'm just going to share with you some things that I've been hearing God say to me. Uh, One of the things that I began to hear the Lord say was, I have held back my deliverance until the church stopped asking me for blessing and began to ask me for deliverance. We have pursued, God said, you have pursued me, but not to be delivered, but to be blessed in your bondage. And the Lord said, no longer am I responding to prayers of just in the natural, but I am responding to the prayers of people that are asking for the blessing of the Lord and for the presence of God. And God said, I am beginning to raise up a company of men and women who cannot live without the presence of God. I am raising up a church in this hour, says the Lord, that is not content to live without their husband in the house. Because in this hour, saith God, I am your provider and I am your deliverer. And in this season, says the Lord, I have had Goshen places for my people where I have kept you protected from the spirit of Pharaoh. And in this hour, says the Lord, the God portals that you have seen so far are not the fullness of what I am doing, but they are places that I allowed my spirit to begin to drop in and to be light in the evening time. But as I began to move on Israel, says the Lord, there came a day when I began to bring them out of their Goshen, and I declared it was time to possess their inheritance. And this hour, saith the Lord, I am getting ready not to leave you just in a place to where the blessing of God is upon you. For I did not raise you up for this hour to be separate from your nation or separate from your world. But I am going to mix the church, says the Lord, with the society that has rejected me. And I'm going to do it by the demonstration of power and authority in the Holy Ghost. For there have been demons, says God. In fact, hell has enlarged herself and emptied herself of the demonic forces and put them in the earth. But know this saith God I have loosed an angelic army in this hour that is already at battle in the spirit realm and in the heavenlies and though you cannot see it saith God there is the flashing sword of deliverance that is being wielded by the hand of Michael and his army you would not be here right now says the Lord if it was not for the angels of the Lord that I have loosed in the spirit realm so this day saith God I take a thought and I give it to you over every demon spirit, over every principality, over every power, saith God. I begin to release it into the house of the Lord. For the days that demons have walked into my sanctuary, says the Lord, and have mocked my presence are over. For there will come the hour, saith God, that the unbeliever will come in to mock and to distract, and they will stand mute by the power of God. God because of the authority of the spirit of the Lord for I am holding back saith God for a season I heard the Lord speak this strong he said I have not yet come and brought deliverance to this nation because I'm going to wait till it gets so dark that there is no answer 
There is no deliverer in the natural that can extricate you from where you are. And in one moment, saith God, I'm going to reverse something in the heavens. And in a 24-hour period, the wicked will begin to wail and the righteous will begin to dance. For there is going to be a reversal, saith the Lord. For the line of Judah is already pacing in the heavenlies, saith God. And as he begins to pace in the heavenlies, there is a build up of a roar, saith God. And this roar, when it begins to be loosed out of heaven, will be so strong, it will shake the heavens and the earth. And demon spirits will begin to bow down. I am not going to totally remove the end enemy but I'm going to silence them and in their silence saith the Lord I'm going to lose a voice of deliverance and power and there is not an accident saith the Lord that the enemy has come against your children because he recognizes that the army that the Lord is raising up in this hour that will finalize the last knockout punch of the enemy is going to come out of your children. And so know me, saith God. I am standing for the fatherless, the widows, the orphans, saith the Lord. And I am going to defend them with the breath of my mouth by the power of God. And those that have attacked and those that have designed different things against your children I'm going to break them in the name of the Lord take your limitations off of me says God let me loose let me loose let me loose saith God when you let me loose saith the Lord I will move as a way that you have never seen God said I am a God of confidence I am a God of authority. I am a God of wisdom. And the wicked have raised themselves up against me, says the Lord. Because they think with their wisdom, their power, and their authority, they can defeat me. But they have power, they have authority, and they have wisdom, says the Lord. Because when I created them, I put them, put part of myself in them. But they will be defeated by the church because God said to the wicked, I did not give the fullness of myself. But the Lord said to the church, I did. And God said, I'm going to use the church who has the fullness of God to defeat the powers of the enemy that rule and reign in the atmosphere. And in the season that you are in, says the Lord, things are going to begin to happen so quick in the Holy Ghost. And God said, because I do not have a strong media voice in the earth, I'm going to take the media voice of the enemy and I'm going to make them report what I am doing in the spirit realm. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Karabobo Sunday. I see media voices say at the Lord that are going to be on the air that are speaking for secular groups and all of a sudden on camera they're going to begin to weep because the presence of God is going to go into their studios and they're going to lose their composure and they're not going to know why they're doing what they're doing and they're beginning to begin to speak things say it God that are not on cue cards but God said I'm going to take their voices and begin to make them declare and begin to speak things of thus saith the Lord for this is my season saith God now saith the Lord though I put you in a Goshen for a season that was not your inheritance the next move of God that you're going to see is I'm going to begin to break a Pharaoh spirit 
that is in this, not only in this nation, but in the earth, saith the Lord. This Pharaoh spirit that has stolen my people's inheritance and made them slaves. I'm going to break that, saith God, not just to give you liberty and freedom, but I am going to loose you from your Pharaoh Egypt slavery because I'm going to propel you over into the land of Canaan. I will deal with your Pharaoh, but you will deal with your giants and I am raising up men and women hallelujah oh my I am raising up men and women who are broken that they will be able to be healers by the power of the Lord and this spirit hallelujah of hard heartedness that's been in the house of God from one side to the other may the breath of God begin to blow across this building know this saith the Lord I'm going to awaken your spirit I'm going to awaken your heart by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to make you rise in the spirit. I, when I come back, saith the Lord, I'm coming back with a shout. But at the same time, you're going to rise up off the earth with a shout. And it won't just be because you're going home. But when you went forth weeping, bearing precious seed, now saith God, your days of reaping are over and your days of harvest are upon you. There is a shout coming up in the house of the Lord. What I did for this sanctuary, what I did for this church was just a wave of my little finger. And watch what I did with debt. How much more, saith God, do you not think that I can walk into your white house of your nation and declare the word of the Lord and release the anointing of God and break the powers and principalities and rule over your nation? For this final move, says God, and I have had God moments, says the Lord, throughout the decades. And I have moved in mighty ways, and I have used men in great ways. But the Lord says, I've had too many fail and not finish strong. God said, not this time. The Lord says that I have spent much time and much patience to nurture a company of men and women that I'm getting ready to release a level of the miraculous that other decades have not seen. And God said it's going to create such a residue the heavens, says the Lord, are going to be so open that in this last move, there will be an abundance of finance. There will be an abundance of exposure. But God said, this time, I have spent decades with men and women preparing them for this season that the glory of God is so weighty that God said, instead of them being able to be lifted up, they will go to their knees in reverence and give me the glory for what I'm getting ready to do. God says that in this last move, men will not be worshiped. It won't be like other times. The Lord said, it won't flock to see a man. But the Lord said, what will draw people into my sanctuary is the presence of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. The presence of God. The, I, I, I see the Lord, I hear the Lord saying that we've had to have large meetings and coliseums because that's where people will congregate hoping to be touched by the presence of God because it's so rare. The Lord said, I'm getting ready to release my presence everywhere. 
Hallelujah. Everywhere. Yera bobo bo Sunday. And God said that the devil put up, oh my, he said he put up no trespassing signs on so many places in the earth that the enemy said, you cannot come in here. And God said, I'm going to kick their signs down. And the presence of God is going to invade the territories of the enemy. And where the spirit of the Lord has never been, God's spirit will begin to settle down. And the Lord says, secular meant no God. And God said, wherever it says secular, it's where the spirit of the Lord is going to begin to target. Because God says, this generation of younger men and women is not rejecting me out of rebellion. They're rejecting me because they do not believe that I exist. But I am going to release a manifestation of my presence, saith the Lord, in colleges. I just gave you a taste, says the Lord, of what I could do at Ashbury and other places. But God said, this was just a temporary outpouring. Before I get done, says God, it's not going to be in Bible schools. In fact, says the Lord, there are places that I release my spirit. And they said, it's inconvenient. We don't want you here. So the Lord Lord said I left but I'm going back to places uh, even as I left the Jews and went to the Gentiles uh, so am I leaving those that said God uh, we don't need you here uh, and the Lord said I'll go to the highways the hedges and the byways uh, in fact when I get done says the Lord uh, your art and your congregation is going to look totally different they're going to be tatted up uh, they're going to be dressed strange uh, they're going to have dyed hair uh, they're going to have piercings uh, but they're going to be filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And God said, I'm going to take the rebellious, the lukewarm, the self-righteous, and I'm going to make them watch. Hallelujah. What I'm getting ready to do in this hour, for this is a new day, saith God. Behold, I turn a page in this building tonight by the Spirit of the Lord, and I blow upon you. I blow my breath upon you. I blow my purpose upon you. I release upon you, saith the Lord, the fullness of the glory of God. God said, I was never intimidated by the enemy. God said, I cast him out of my presence once in a flash. The Lord said, before I come back, as I cast him out of heaven, and Jesus said it was like lightning, Now I'm going to cast him out of the earth, and it's going to be like lightning. And I keep hearing God say this to me, that there's been so much that, well, it's just going to get worse, worse, worse. But where sin abounds, grace does much more abound. And I, and I hear this in the spirit from the Lord from time to time. He says, tell the church that harvest time, there's going to be peace. And the Lord said, the peace that's coming to this nation is not coming through politics. He said, it's coming through the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God says, as I begin to release my spirit and my presence into the house of God. And I heard this the other day. The Lord said that we won't take up offerings like we do now. Because there's going to be such a spirit of giving. But the Lord said that also I'm going to begin to touch the unbeliever. And I'm going to begin to touch the sinner. And God said, the church looked to save the poor. And the Lord said, I am also going to save the poor. But God said, my church is also going to touch the wealthy and the intellectual and the educated. And the Lord says, when they get touched by my presence... 
It'll be like their newborn babes in the kingdom of God. And they will begin to release, as Zacchaeus did, they're going to begin to release to the kingdom of the Lord things that the enemy has given them, and it's going to be for the kingdom of the Lord. And God said that we're getting ready to go over into the land of Canaan. And God says that it's going to happen when the obstacle seems insurmountable. Even as Jordan was at flood stage, when Israel crossed over into the land of Egypt, the Lord said it's going to look impossible. And in one moment, saith the Lord, the priesthood is going to touch it in the spirit realm. And when they touch it in the spirit realm, this thing is going to part Jesus just like it did the Red Sea and the presence of God is going to go before the people of the Lord and we are going to take the strongholds of the enemy and the Lord said the church for a long time has just touched symptoms of the enemy but they've not touched the strongholds and God said that there has been fear in the church that if you speak out against sin, the enemy will come after you. But I tell you, this saith the Lord, I have already set angels around my servants that the enemy cannot harm them and cannot touch them. And when they come even in with weapons, saith the Lord, into the house of God, I will disarm them before they can ever release it into the house of the Lord. And this spirit of shootings that the enemy has raised up, God said, I'm going to put an end to that by the power of the Holy Ghost. And God says also, I'm going to begin now. The revival that I'm going to begin to loose is not going to begin just inside the church. In fact, says the Lord, it's going to start outside church buildings. And when it begins to hit secular areas, when you're high school, all of a sudden, they tell you that there's something going on. And in your grade schools and in your colleges, that the glory of God has shown up in the midst of that I am God says the Lord you cannot ban me and I am coming to the cry of the man of Gadara and I'm going to set him free by the power of the Lord now say it God I release in this house a new level power and authority that out of your belly shall begin to flow rivers of living water and the spirit of sickness and infirmity that has bound my people I'm tired of it says the Lord and in one moment I release a healing virtue through the entire body of Christ and every spirit of infirmity every demon of sickness is bound in the name of the Lord for by my stripes ye not are healed you were healed in the name of Jesus so shout unto the Lord for even in this sanctuary by the power of God I begin to release healing 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 on every section may the spirit of God begin to flow through your body. Every demon spirit of hell, I break cancer. I break arthritis. I break high blood pressure. I break diabetes in the name of the Lord. And I declare that the body of Christ is healed in the name of Jesus. And you are walking in the freedom and the liberty of the Holy Ghost. May God open your eyes tonight as he did Elisha's servant. That you begin to see in the spirit that they that be for us are way more than they that be against us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have you forgotten, says the Lord, that I told you your weapons are not natural weapons, but they're God weapons. Hallelujah, to the pulling down of strongholds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And there are some strongholds, says the Lord, on the East Coast and the West Coast. I try to be careful here, but I, I hear the Spirit of the Lord said, I'm not done with Disney. And the reason God's not done with it is because they went after our children. And I see that God is going to do something. I see gates shut. I see parking lots empty. 
because the Lord has said no more in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Darabobobo satarabas sanda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God begin to give us an unction in the spirit of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May God begin to loose an unction in this house. Namaste Sunday. Hallelujah. I came here tonight, says the Lord, to lift your head in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In fact, there will never. I see this movement. I, I have seen it in other countries where there's open air meetings because there's no building that will hold them that are like a million people. And I see God beginning to have open air meetings in this nation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see God filling up stadiums where the enemy has triumphed over the years. May the Lord loose revival in the Hollywood Bowl in Hollywood, California. May God, hallelujah, fill up Madison Square Garden with the glory of God. May God fill up Shea Stadium in New York, New York Stadium by the power of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Now saith the Lord, I'm going after places that the world forgot. I'm going to hit South Dakota, says God. I'm going to hit New Mexico. I'm going to hit some of the New England states. In fact, saith the Lord, New England is a stronghold of the enemy, but it's where they came from England in order to have religious freedom. And God said, I'm going to pour out my spirit on New England from New Hampshire to Connecticut to Rhode Island, and I'm going to break the demonic stronghold over that area, saith the Lord. And I'm going to begin to release a spirit of harvest and revival in the name of Jesus. May God begin to loose revelation in your spirit tonight. Hallelujah. May the Lord begin to revive you in the name of the Lord. May God be the lifter of your burden and the lifter of your head. May the, the Lord says, I'm getting ready to put a shout back in your spirit. And this spirit of depression that's been in the house of the Lord. I curse it in the name of Jesus. And I begin to loose the joy of the Lord. May God begin to release in you right now an understanding. If God be for me, nobody can be against me. Do you not know, says God, that the glory of the latter house shall be greater than that of the former. That when I come back, I'm not coming back for a bruised, wounded, defeated church. But I'm coming back for a glorious church uh, without spot, reek, or blemish uh, that's full uh, of the Holy Ghost, uh, full of the power of God, uh, and is casting out demons, uh, raising the dead, uh, opening the eyes of the blind, uh, and preaching the gospel to the poor. <laughs> hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! You are an army. God has tried to empower you with a revelation that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The Lord said the measuring stick that we have used in the church for God has been misconstrued. God said, you measure me and my power by how much money or what the building looks like or the natural blessings. God said, those things I can do in my sleep. He said, I am measured in the depth of my presence and the depth of my glory. Hallelujah. I saw when Pastor Timmy was telling me the story of years ago when uh, Benny Hinn came and it shut down the freeway and they had turned, around, oh, turned away almost 8,000 people trying to get in. And I, I was thinking on that and God said, get ready. It's going to happen again, but it won't be because of a man. 
to be because of the presence of the Lord. God said, I have withheld myself to some degree because I will not compete with mortal men for worship. And God said, the church has been too content with worshiping personalities and talent and yet left unchanged. But God said, oh, do you not know that when you come into my presence, you can't leave unchanged? That while you worship me, says God, cancers leave your body. That while you worship me, says God, I go after your children, even in other states, <clears throat> and I begin to move their hearts until they are conditioned to receive me <clears throat> into their lives. And the Lord said, I have waited until it got dark enough that the church will begin to ask for the light of the ages. And that I would come back to the house of the Lord. <clears throat> I see the days coming, says God, that you will worship with angels. Not in heaven. But God said, there's going to be such a presence of the spirit of worship that's going to break loose in churches all over the nation. That angels will not be able to withhold themselves. And they'll begin to worship me in the presence of the worship that's going on in the house of the Lord. And God said, I'll even let you see them as they begin to praise me and begin to worship me. And they will lift up the name of the Lord. But God said, the worship, hallelujah, what I'm after now is my children who never saw me, never felt me, never touched me in the natural. But they still believed in my authenticity. Now God said, where I have been in the spirit realm, I am manifesting myself in the natural realm. Angels are going to be seen. Now say it, the Lord, I'm going to also begin to do a greater work of healing than you saw in the 50s. And what you saw with Catherine Kuhlman and A. E. Allen and Oral Roberts and William Branham is just a drop in the bucket to what you're getting ready to see by the power of the Lord. In fact, says God that when people begin to be sick, they will begin to call on the church first instead of a doctor. They'll begin to say, we got to get them over to the house of the Lord instead of taking them to the hospital. They're going to come out of wheelchairs. They're going to come off of deathbeds. Paralysis, says the Lord. I see God beginning to heal people that are absolutely paralyzed, that have to be carried in to the kingdom of the Lord and to the house of God. And this time, says the Lord, it's not going to be the pastor that does all the healing. But God said you're going to be amazed that you're going to see the sick begin to come in and all of a sudden you're going to see little children go over and lay their hands on the sick, on the terminally ill and you'll see your grandchildren and your babies that are six, seven, eight years old and as they begin to touch them, say it God, I see it already in the spirit, I see it on this place and as they begin to touch them hallelujah, they begin to get up and they begin to dance and they begin to be set free by the power of the Lord, I I hath not seen, ear hath not heard, neither is it into the heart of man. Those things that God hath prepared for them that love him. There is a wave of my presence, saith the Lord, that's coming over this congregation right now. And as I begin to move my spirit over your church, hallelujah, and it is compacted with the DNA of God, that when you leave tonight, you will be forever altered under the heart. Holy Ghost, may every demon bow down to the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. And may God begin to loose a Holy Ghost revolution of the anointing of God all over this building. God says, I give you your hope back. I give you your faith back. I put a song in you tonight. 
that in the middle of the night you'll wake up singing my God is an awesome God uh, that I'll get you so moved uh, so excited by the spirit of the Lord uh, that you'll feel like the prophet I got a fire set up within my bones God said I needed people that are bold Lord said the enemy has been much more bold than the church. And God said you can't be all inclusive. You got to be inclusive of the word of the Lord. But God said I didn't come to live with the sinner. I came to save the sinner. I didn't come down to Israel to moan with them in Egypt. But I said I came down to bring them up and out into a land that flows with milk and honey. Hallelujah. The other day God spoke this to me. Authority over satellites in the earth are getting ready to change. And God is going to take satellites that have been controlled by lukewarm and secular companies, and God said, I'm going to begin to give them to ministries that have not compromised, but have paid the price. And as the gospel goes out from Jerusalem, so shall the gospel begin to go out through all of the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, even this year, I'm yanking the cover as you would yank a blanket off of a bed to reveal. God said, I'm yanking the cover off of the clean and the unclean. And the Lord says, do not say it would have been better for God not to have shown them unclean. But God said, I have to reveal the sin to get the sickness out of the kingdom of God before I can heal the church to walk in the fullness of the Lord. And there can never be harvest, according to Matthew 24, until the tares are out of the field. And God says, I take the angels to remove the tares who are those who practice lawlessness and offend me. And he said, I remove them from the harvest, from the wheat field, and then I turn the church loose. And the next thing that we're going to see is God is going to begin to loose, excuse me, angelic hosts. Thank you, son. God is going to begin to loose angels. And I think the church would be a lot farther on if we would have understood the ministry of angels. Because the Bible says they are ministering spirits for the heirs of salvation. And we just totally left them out in left field. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. And God is going to loose angels. And um, I pray this almost every day that God will loose the death angel in the earth to start this process. Because the Bible says that God is going to loose angels who are going to physically remove those who offend God. They're the tares. And we've not yet seen the harvest because we've not yet seen that angelic army visit the body of Christ. And the Bible says judgment begins in the house of the Lord. And God said, tell the church that as I told Aaron not to weep over his sons that I killed because they blasphemed me. Do not weep over those that you even call friends that I'm going to remove from the body of Christ 
because they weakened the house of the Lord with the sin that was in their life. And the Lord says, the reason I'm going to go to that extreme is because the cry of the loss has reached up into my throne room, and I cannot hold back from deliverance for them. Harabobo Sunday. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And as God begins to release this spirit of cleansing, this spirit of separation, it will be quick, <clears throat> and then the Lord will begin to loose the harvest in the atmosphere. And the days will come when, Pastor Tim, when you built this building, God saw this day coming that all of these seats will be filled and churches will never be empty again. When God wants to do it, i just give you an, uh, an example. When my wife and I, we've pastored for years, small church, many, many times, only be a third fill. And then when God was ready to do it, two days after Christmas, when nobody goes to church, we walk out of the office and cars are all the way out a half a mile. Church doesn't start for an hour and the building is standing room only. That's God. That's God. <clears throat> so we can't take credit because we didn't do it. Hallelujah. Can I, can I pray over you, Brother Tim? Come here. Hallelujah. 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 <clears throat> this assignment <clears throat> that's come against you, says the Lord, to try to take you out. I break that thing in the name of Jesus yes. tonight. And tonight, says God, I give you an anointing of Caleb. And I'm renewing your strength. And I'm renewing your vigor, says the Lord. And you will be alive when you see me come in the clouds of glory. <laughs> And I am making this covenant with you because all of these years you labored and you planted the seed. I'm not going to let another man bring in the harvest and you not get to see it. So, oh, son, I'm going to exceed your expectations. I'm going to let you stand with your wife. And there are going to be times that you will just shake your head. Now, what I've done was just a down payment of what I'm getting ready to do. But it's not the fullness, says the Lord, of what I have already promised you. This is still coming. But I'm going to fill your house back up. And it won't be like it was in the days gone by. But this is a different move. This is a sovereign move. But because I can trust you, says the Lord, and because you will not take glory and you will not take credit, I'm going to give you exceeding, abundantly above all that you can ask or think. So now upon your body from the top of your head to the sole of your feet this day hallelujah i put an angel on both sides of you that are going to walk with you to the end of your days on this earth to protect you and to watch over you so the fear hallelujah it doesn't matter what the enemy has said it's a lie this night saith god you shall live and not die this night saith the lord you're going to prosper and not fail this night saith the lord I'm going to fill this house uh, to full and overflowing. It is a God portal. They're going to come from around the world, says the Lord, uh, and stand in this building. Uh, and things that I showed you as a young man uh, that you thought, God, it must not going to be happen. Get ready, says the Lord. In the next 18 months, uh, I'm going to declare my word uh, over this God portal, over you, over your family. And I bless you this night in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 All right, I, I want you to stand to your feet. Because when, when God speaks prophetically, 
what happens is it's loosed in the atmosphere and it's swirling right now. And you're going to have to get a hold of it by faith. Whatever it is, if you're a tither and you need finance breakthrough, you're going to have to get a hold of the word of the Lord. If you're sick in your body, you're going to have to reach up into the heavens and get a hold of the word of the Lord. If your children are not saved tonight, I want you to reach into the heavens and get a hold of what God said about children. And I want you to begin to declare, God, I'm receiving it. Now, lift up your voice. You can lose your prayer language. But, Lord, all around this building, we begin to release our faith. God, we're releasing. God, we're going to catch a hold of this thing. And, Lord, we declare that not two months from now, not five months from now, but, God, before this next Sabbath, Lord, we declare that you're going to begin to perform the word of the Lord, that, God, phone calls are going to begin to come in. God, that the impossible is going to be done. Now, prayers that you forgot that you prayed, God will begin to answer in the name of Jesus. Now, I also declare an activation of gifts that used to be in you that died and went silent. May the gifts of the Spirit be resurgent in your spirit right now. May God begin to give you dreams and visions and open visions. May angels come visit you and may Jesus instruct you and equip you. May God lose good talents in this place. May the Lord touch you to play instruments. May God touch you to sing the song of the Lord. May the spirit of faith be your portion in the name of Jesus. May you declare you are the head and not the tail. May there be such a boldness upon you that you storm the gates of hell. May there be such an authority in you that demons begin to tremble when you begin to pray. May the anointing of God be upon you and every yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. May God give, make you the lender and not the borrower. May God put divine favor on you. May God open the heavens over you tonight and may they never be closed. May he fill you with the baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. May God reverse every generational curse every word that's been spoken against you in judgment may you condemn in the name of the Lord may the spirit of death be broken off of you and may God restore back to you what the enemy has stolen and may he give it back seven times may the devourer be broken and may the spirit of joy be your portion in the name of Jesus we declare it in the name of the Lord Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now before I give this back to pastor, I want you to raise your hands and I want you to lift your voice and tell the Lord, God, we receive this word tonight that you have spoken. Hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, 